Hi, this is Nikki Price from DiamondMLMTraining.com and today's video is just on how to create a Facebook group. Now, this is part of the FB for Business Blueprint that, um, uh, you know, one of my training courses and this is just a visual really rather than um, the ebook that also explains it step by step. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to talk you through, uh, you need to read the ebook to find out why you would be creating a group, but essentially a group is where you're going to be able to interact and show your expertise in your chosen um, niche. So the first thing we do, I'm actually on my profile here, my main profile, and over here on the left hand side you'll see we've got sort of, uh, your, your menus are in three main sections here. You've got your apps and stuff at the bottom, you've got your groups here, and you've got your, your main sort of news feed and messages up there. So if, you've, if you're already a member of some groups then you might need to just click the more button here to go down to the bottom and then you'll see the little icon there that just says create a group. So we're just going to click on that and then straight away it's going to ask you what do you want to call your group. Now bear in mind that people are going to be, you know, you want you want people to come and join your group so therefore you need to try and keep this group. You can certainly put your name in the group but I would also put in here something that you feel you want to be searched by. So I don't know if you if you are um, a network marketing group and for a particular network marketing company then you may want to put that here. I probably would guard against having um, a, a company name. You can do if you want to keep it a very close knit training site for your team. In fact it's a very good idea to do that. Um, but if you want to attract lots of people to show your expertise in network marketing then maybe you just want to call it um, you know Nikki Price's marketing group whatever your name is okay so um, because I want Facebook to delete this afterwards I'm just going to call this Nikki Price test 3 okay now one of the new features um, that I have to say I'm not overly happily about happy about um, is that they've taken away the facility for you to be able to invite people to your group um, or at least to do that through the system so the only way you can do um, or, or put members into the group is by actually adding them now you are you know you can search for, for example if I just search under a what's the first one that comes up um, you know I all your friends that you are already friends with from your main profile are going to come up and you could literally just go through and add them all you know Facebook gives you that facility however I would say don't do it um, for the very for the simple reason that if you do that you're going to upset a lot of people because the automatic default to um, a group setting is that they will be notified of anybody posting in your group anybody commenting anybody sharing anything and it does get very annoying and you will probably find as fast as you're adding people people are going to not only unsubscribe from the group or leave the group but also um, lose you as a friend too so that's my recommendation you need to notify them probably externally through your profile wall even completely externally via email um, you know just letting people know about your group and then encouraging people to join okay so what we'll do um, that's how you add people though literally just um, type in surnames or literally just go through your whole list and and add them one after the other or you just add specific people so I'm not going to add anybody at the moment because I don't want to upset anybody um, and I'm just want to explain to you a little bit about the privacy settings um, you know that that you that you can choose here on uh, on the um, you know on the on the front page here so you can see it's it's defaulted to closed here now this is basically that anyone well it's, it tells you here look anyone can see the group and who's in it but only members see the post now you can also get the option of secret now I don't really get the secret group unless you are, um, well no I suppose there, there, there are reasons where you would have a secret group where you just want to train perhaps your team members and you know 
literally the URL if you have a secret group even if people have the URL they won't be able to search for it if they're not a member of that group it is, is specifically um, you know you won't see the URL you won't see the blog post uh, the postings on there the shares or comments or anything else you, you won't see anything so you know that is specifically for um, a very small targeted niche um, so my recommendation is to have an open group um, and that means that anybody can see it, anybody can see what's in it and they can see what the members are posting but until they're actually a member they won't be able to you know, come and, and like and comment and share. Okay so we're going to leave that as open and we're going to create, our, oh it's going to ask me to at least add one so I wonder if it'll allow me to add me. Um, let's just add me to the group and then create the group no it's telling me I have, <laughs> I'm not a friend of me um, okay so I'm gonna have to add somebody I know Ruth she won't mind and just click create a group so takes a little bit of time okay there we go so I have a, a group now with um, just me and Ruth in it so that's very exciting isn't it <laughs> and uh, you know that's essentially it that's your group you can then go through and add friends as I say as people you know as you're talking to people and you want to invite them then you can always just go through and, and add those groups um, what you can also do is um, attach a photograph here so you know literally just um, you can let's see if I go to my website photos never find one where you want one. Let's go here and just pick one of. Oh dear, don't want all those do we? Let's just pick anything. Um, just upload a picture as you would normally to your Facebook profile or to you know anywhere else on the group but try and make it a picture as to what the group's about but if it is your group and you want uh, you know your face on there then that's absolutely fine and um, you know you can edit the settings at any time why didn't that come up that's really odd isn't it maybe it's still trying to do it but anyway that's how you upload a picture I think that was a very big one and you can now edit any um, you know settings if you want you can also create oh not here no um, this is just where you get notified of anything so if it's your own group you probably be wanted to notified of, of anything that's going on I certainly like to be notified in my group okay so that's all that now the, another big difference um, that uh, Facebook have made with the new groups function is that you can now chat with anybody in your group so if there's under 250 members you can all chat together in the same group which is actually quite a useful function if you think about it um, you know all, all as one which is you know that's you know you might use that I don't know <laughs> I don't actually I don't use it in mine but um, you know you can do and this is new as well this create a document and this this I think could be useful if for example you were a small group and you maybe you wanted to create an agenda or something for um, a meeting you can just click your title here create your document and then literally let's do it let's just put on invitation and then click uh, okay and then we'll just say create the document you can use your normal bold italics numbering etc so create the document and you can see it then just appears on the wall so once that's created that means that then anybody in the group can now just click on that and actually make their own changes to this document as well so that's you know that's really quite um, quite useful it's it's new so um, you know you can have fun with that one you can carry on creating events exactly as you could in the old format in um, uh, in you know in the old groups function so literally just put in the date and time what are you planning what sort of event where's it going to happen if that's um, you know webinar URL you can put in there a bit more information about what the webinar or the event is about you can even add a, a photo to um, you know because I see a lot of these sort of blank ones and I think I'd pay much more attention if there was a nice picture there of, of somebody smiling or laughing or you know just something a little bit about what the groups about so you know I would do that and again you can 
select your guests just by clicking members um, there. Create your. Oh, that's probably going to tell me I can't now. Yeah, because I didn't do anything in there. Um, but that's how you create an event. Um, you can also view photos if you've got any loaded up there. You can edit the group once you've created it. You can edit the group. So if you wanted to suddenly change it from an open status to a closed status, then you can do that. Um, now this is an interesting one as well, membership approval. And I think this is a new one actually. Um, if you click that, it means only you as the administrator can approve the request to join. What I would say here is I would just keep an eye on this because if you have that unticked, it means that um, you know when you're when you see this um, this here add friends to group. It means that everybody can see that. So once they are a member, they can also add their friends to the group. So I would say if you're trying to encourage lots of people to join your group, then you know certainly leave that as blank and just keep an eye on it because obviously you've only got to have one bad penny in the group that then invites a load of other bad pennies and you know you're in trouble so you need to you're not in trouble you can just delete them but um, you know you might need to suddenly just take control over that and say okay from now on this group's getting too big or you know whatever I just want to um, I want to manage this myself so you know you can edit that whenever you like you can also now this is a useful function because instead of being able to notify everybody in your group which is what you could do before they made all the changes you could just send an email out to everybody in here that was in your group um, what you have to do now is create an email address here and then anybody who's in the group has will be notified via this email of anything that you post in here but only if they haven't um, adjusted their notifications if they've adjusted their notifications to say not be notified then they're not going to get this so that's the difference whereas before you could guarantee that everybody in your group would get sent an email now you can't guarantee it because if people have switched off their notifications and many people do if you're in lots of groups you do because you get a bit sick of you know the amount of emails that come from Facebook um, you know that's the thing so you know make your email address about something about your group um, you know for me that would obviously be diamond MLM training um, and that's in fact that is the one on my in my group page but that's quite a useful function and uh, it also means that if anybody actually wants to post directly to there they can just post to that email address and it will come through on the on the feed here which is which is quite good um, and I think that's probably about uh, oh no very importantly actually the description now this is where you put your house rules if you like this is where you're going to put what sort of group you are the sort of behavior that you expect um, you know certainly if you're uh, in network marketing I would definitely say you know welcome to the group this is group is a, a place for um, people to mentor and mastermind with other leaders in the industry um, please answer people's questions or please you know please feel free to post questions here um, absolutely no business links to be posted um, any such post will be removed you know something like that if you're a small group you know you're just putting your um, reason for your group basically that's exactly what's here so that people who then um, come into your group and have a look they will see what your group is all about and that's probably it that's you with um, your page set up um, I'll just take you actually over to to my group so you can see how it is actually set up there you go now if you if you were to come to my page um, as a new person and not a member then you would see my in fact you should be able to see it uh, yeah you can see it here so that's what I was saying please feel free to post valuable content that will help other marketers um, you know questions are encouraged please also share your content that you feel has helped others um, you know this is my aim and my support and mentoring group for new and experienced marketers um, and then also some links to a page 
you know, never miss out on an opportunity if you can to place a subtle link so that if people are looking for information on you, they can find it. This is it's not in your face. It's just telling you that I've got a Facebook fan page and that that's where you can go to get some free training, free webinar, weekly webinar trainings. Um, so it's useful information to anybody that's going to be using this group. So I hope that's helped. That's um, video, oh, I don't know if it's one or two in the series. I can't remember. I haven't edited them all yet. So um, I look forward to seeing you on the next video where I'm going to be going through how to set up a Facebook fan page. Okay, I'll speak to you all then.